Hey honeys, Aaliyah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where I thought it would be super fun to bring you guys along with me in making a purse emergency kit. Now I never had one and you know I be watching people travel and you know go on trips because they're really hip to traveling and they travel all the time. So they have these kits that they take with them on the plane like their carry-on where they have all of their essentials and you know I don't travel that often you know and especially due to COVID. Not many people People are traveling well you know girls some people are but me quite frankly I don't think I'm gonna travel for a very long time but I thought it'd be very fun to make one for my purse because my motto is better safe than sorry and I like to be prepared and I you know things were just going through my okay I'm a very anxious person and I worry a lot so you know I was thinking like damn what if I really get stranded somewhere and I ain't got nothing on me i was like this needs to change i need to make a kit so that's exactly what we're going to do today i got every single thing off amazon so it'll be linked down below i will try my best to remember every single link of every single thing i done got from amazon so check down below in my description box um but we're gonna unpackage it today i have not unpackaged anything and we're gonna make a kit i have i found this one in my little storage of bags from benefit and i thought this would be super perfect for my little purse travel kit because it just folds up and my purse is pretty big if y'all don't know I carry this Kate Spade bag that I've had for like five years she's in pretty good condition shout out to my mask on my little on my little I don't know what this bag is called I have no idea but I've carried it for five years and of course we also been on a little bit of Jaworsh Reminder I will put it down in the description box because a few of you last time I was drinking this you were like girl how you spell that I know it's confusing to me too I have to search it into Google in order to know how to even spell it so I will put it down below it's Jaworsh Reminder if you like sweet wine like Moscato or maybe even Risling, but you kind of want it to be a little bit more strong. I think you'll really like Jerusha Minor. Y'all like my swag today, though? Psh, is this swag on swag? So without further conje, if you are interested in tuning into today's video where you will be making a purse emergency kit with me filled with essentials and safety mechanisms, then subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. Tap that bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know, I've been trying to upload every Sunday at 12 p.m. But you know things just be happening, okay? I'm human. I'm not perfect I'll be having a lot going on because I juggle so many different apps and platforms But I do aim to upload Sunday Monday. I've been doing a good job of doing Sunday Monday around noon Okay, so just check around noon because sometimes it'd be like noon 15 or noon 45 and stay tuned Keep on watching and I hope you enjoy this video <laughs> If you are partaking in a glass of wine, Jerusha Minor tea, soda, sparkling water, any beverage of your choice, or even a snack, honey, cheers, boo! So when I was thinking of building this kit, I was thinking of everything that I would need in an emergency, in the bathroom. Girl, you know men out here are crazy, so if a man come up and approach me and is acting real aggressive, you know, I, I thought about things for that, and I thought about things, you know, give to other women, you know, just in case you can be that girl who's like, girl, do you have a tampon? and then you have it you could just give it to her you know i was doing that kind of thinking so let's unbox everything and then build our kit okay so i already opened this so i got a first aid kit from johnson and johnson i believe this was only five dollars you know what if someone gets a boo-boo or you get a boo-boo you need a band-aid let's actually see what's in it because i don't even know it's super small but i think i might take everything out of this box since it is kind of bulky. So what do we have in here? We have a little alcohol pad and then band-aids of different sizes. Okay, we need band-aids. And then just some gauze. So that's like the emergency first aid kit. Not much, but like you may get a cut, a boo-boo, and it needs to be patched up. So I got this little first aid kit from Johnson & Johnson. Now, I was thinking of getting the big first aid kit, but I was thinking of doing a whole nother video for an emergency kit for your car. So let me know down below or give this video a thumbs up if you want me to make a whole car emergency kit because that's where the bulkier stuff would go. That could stay in your car. Your purse, you don't need bulky stuff in there. Also, if I am missing anything that you have in your purse, girl, let me know. Hook me up, put me on, put us all on. All right, let's get into this one. I believe everything cost me a hundred dollars so that's pretty affordable okay what is this 
Oh, I think this is my, yep, my personal alarm. Now, I learned about this from TikTok. I watched a woman, uh, see this? I keep telling myself I'm gonna save the videos and I never do, but this woman, she always shows women how to, who live alone or who by themselves, what devices to get to be safe. And she put us all onto this personal alarm and it just makes sound. I'm actually afraid to test it out. Like, what if I really need it? And it's just dumb loud and scares everybody. But it's just a little personal alarm to put on your keychain and you just hit it and it just makes a loud ass noise. Like kind of like your car alarm kind of thing. I don't know how it sounds. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's 8 p.m. I don't wanna scare my family. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. I believe this was only like five or six dollars, so very affordable as well. And I don't think it calls the police. I wish it would call the police. That would be cool. But then I'd be afraid if it called the police on accident, like I hit it on accident, and then the police showed up. Mm -mm. Black people and the police, honey, don't mix. <laughs> oh yes, okay, this is not gonna be in any type of order. Sometimes I be needing to brush my teeth on the go, but I don't want to carry a toothbrush and toothpaste with me. So I got these Colgate uh, Max Fresh Whips. They're like mini disposable toothbrushes, and they just make your mouth feel minty fresh. I see these in Target all the time, but I feel like they're more helpful for on the go. So I'm definitely gonna like break these down, like put them in like small little Ziploc bags so I don't have to have this whole pack with me at once. But you know, sometimes I just need to freshen up my breath in the middle of the day or wherever I'm at. So I got some Colgate Max Fresh Whips. I actually never use this kind of product. Do y'all remember back in the day when we was like kids? If you like my age, we was like kids and they had the rip, slip, brush. You know those? Yeah, I remember those. They were like a glove that you just put on your finger. Rip, slip, brush. I think it was by Oral-B. Okay, oh, I didn't know these were so bulky. I should have got the, the the mini ones, but then I realized people on Twitter be like, no, that's so wasteful, that's horrible for the environment, so I like didn't get it. But I just wanted some makeup wipes for on the go to wipe my face, but I didn't realize this was so thick. But I guess we just gonna have to have a thick um, makeup remover wipe package. Is this the weapons? Oh yeah, girl, we get into the weapons. Safety, I mean safety, I mean safety. Safety, YouTube, safety for women. What is this? Okay, cool, I saw this on TikTok as well. This is a taser, but it's in the shape of a flashlight. I asked my boyfriend if I could test it on him, but like, he was like, no. <laughs> I was like, can I just test the taser on you to see if it works? I was actually really interested in buying this. This was on the more I'll just say expensive, because it's not really expensive, but it's just more than $5. This one was like $17.99. And when you buy stuff like this on Amazon, you have to verify your age, so you can't be a young girl. I think you have to be 18 to buy this on Amazon. Like, I didn't even know they had a rule like that. Oh cool, and it has a charger. It has a little charger, so it does charge. And it looks just like a flashlight. Isn't it actual? See, I don't want to test it because I don't want to shock myself, but it looks, oh, that's cool. I think it is a flashlight and a taser. I don't know, I should know this because I bought it, but it's shaped, it's really heavy too. It's really heavy, it has weight to it, it feels metal. You can see right there in the center where the electricity, the tased electricity will be. I've never used a taser before in my life, so. Feels like I can give bop someone in the head, you know, get too close, bop, I could tase you and smack you in the face. Okay, this is another safety thing. Okay, I, my like worst fear is car accidents or like car accidents and I'm alive, but I can't get out of the vehicle. So I bought this cause you know, you're not exempt from, you know, maybe getting a little shindig when you're in an Uber, a Lyft by yourself in someone else's car. So I got an escape tool. Let's open it up and see where you can break the window with it. You can cut your seatbelt with it and other stuff that will help you get out of the car. So it might even save your life and someone else's life. I don't even know how I thought of this. Did I see this on TikTok? Girl, I'll be seeing everything on TikTok. Shout out to TikTok. Oh, so it actually came with two, so I can keep one in my car. And it was only like $7.33. So this is what it looks like. This is called an escape tool. If you just type in escape tool on Amazon, this should pop up. So I am gonna have to see how it works as well, cause I don't know. But this, it has a little blade on it which can help cut your seatbelt. It has some reflective tape, I guess, to, you know, wave someone down. But I mean, our phones 
can do that too. And uh, it does a lot more things. I will have to watch tutorials. So we can save lives, save our lives, and we don't have to be trapped in the car. I don't know, I just be having these weird fears and scenarios. Once I have a fear, I have to prepare myself to, for if that fear is gonna happen. I, that's just me. You know, a better safe than sorry is my motto. So I'm just like, okay, what if one day it happens? As much as I don't want it to happen, what if it does? I need to be able to get out. Okay, next items in that bag. Oh, I got some sterile alcohol wipes because you never know, you need to wipe down your little station. Maybe you're at a restaurant, the gas station, you need to wipe down your door handle anything that you need to wipe down these are sterile and they're made for hospitals so i got these and these were only like five dollars and they come with 200 so you this will last you so long and then the last thing that was in that bag is poopery you know you just want to be able to spray the toilet down after you know go number two because you know when you go number two in public see i don't even like to like it makes me very uncomfortable but you know if you just have to go you don't want someone to walk in after you and just be slapped in the face with the smell of your poo. No, that, <laughs> that thought I hate it. Cause I hate when that happened to me. I hate when I walk in the public restroom and I can smell someone else's number two. It makes me angry. Cause you couldn't flush. You couldn't do the courtesy flush. Y'all know about the courtesy flush where you flush every time, you know, drop some in the toilet. This is what poopery is for. It's just kind of like a mini Febreze. Honestly, it's kind of expensive for its size. This was like $5, but I got the original citrus scent. Like sometimes you just have to go like, it can't be held any longer. <laughs> All right, next one. Okay, so the next thing I got was ibuprofen, but the ibuprofen that's in the little packets, the little thin packets that come with two pills at a time. Cause you know, sometimes th the mother nature comes out of nowhere and just smacks you in the body with cramps or someone else has cramps and they need some ibuprofen or a headache, whatever the case may be. I Want, I would like to have ibuprofen on me for me or someone else who needs it So I just got the kind that comes in packets and this one has a hundred tablets So 50 packets of these with 250 packets with two pills in each packet, which is perfect for the purse So a lot of the things I bought will last me a while I can always restock the purse emergency kit I won't run out of anything for a while and or the things are reusable or they last a long time and the next thing of course Girl, I got some cootie cat wipes. These, well, I didn't realize how cheap these were. These were only a dollar and 72 cents and they come with 16. I know people are gonna be like, it's not good for the environment. It's very wasteful when it's individually wrapped. But you know, for it to be convenient for the purse or just give to somebody, it's more sanitary to have something individually wrapped so someone isn't digging their fingers in your little white packet, you know? Which is why I should have got the individually wrapped makeup wipes but i didn't you know because i was thinking about the environment too you just sometimes just need to give someone an individual wrapping gotta keep the cool cap fresh and then i just got some listerine um i actually like these these are strong i haven't had these in a while i've been i have been popping these into my mouth the ready tabs but i only have one left and sometimes gum gets old I don't know, I wasn't, I don't know why I didn't buy gum, but I guess gum too, but I don't know. I just got these, because I feel like these are very powerful, and after you have the wisp, just pop one of these in your mouth, it's like you just gargled your mouth with mouthwash, and honey, your breath is fresh. And then lastly, okay, when you go on the Asian side of TikTok, like Asian TikTok, they just have such cool trinkets, such cool things for the home, like I swear, Asian TikTok has all of the hacks. Like their hacks, their, what do you call them? Their appliances, their tools, the tips and tricks that they use, who, who thinks of this? Like, it's so genius. So, I got the individual soap, like the soap sheets. So just in case, like, you in a public restroom or someone's house and they don't have any soap, all you have to do is go into your purse, pull out your little soap sheet, and then you have soap for yourself. There's three of these and there's like, how many in each? 150 in each, there's 50 in each of these, 50 soap sheets. I've actually never used this before. I've actually seen people use this for travel as well, like, I be watching the Japan, Travel vlogs, the Malaysia travel vlogs, the China travel vlogs. I really would like to go to Asia one day. That's besides the point. They have these, I'm like, oh, that's so interesting. And it's super cute. So I got these, it's only like $5 as well. I haven't tried it yet, so I guess we'll have to try it to see how it smells and see how it suds up. All right, next package. Yes, I ordered a lot of things. This one is just hand sanitizer. So I like mini hand sanitizers, of course, to give in my purse. Cause once I hop in my car, after like being in the grocery store or wherever I am, I like to sanitize my hands before I even take off my mask. So I'm not taking off my mask with dirty hands or infected hands. And of course, I've been had this, but this, <laughs> okay. 
okay you need to sometimes i don't know men are crazy this is super sharp i believe this is for hunting i don't know that's what my boyfriend said he said this is a hunting knife so i have a hunting knife it's really sharp it slices right the fuck through paper anything it's very sharp <laughs> last box see i don't know why amazon does this they send me a big ass box and put one thing in there when you could have grouped it all up into one big ass box oh yes the last safety mechanism I got is pepper spray. Oh, and they have a training video. They have a link to a training video on the back and they teach you how to use this pepper spray, so. And this is like pretty, pretty good size, so it'll fit in my little mechanism. Let's see if all of this fits in my little kit that I plan on putting in my purse. So we put in the Cootie Cat wipes right into this pocket. Two tampons, two pads. I'm putting the pad like right behind the wipes. Tampon fits right on the side. This is what the ibuprofen packet looks like. Super small. We'll put four of these in there. We are sliding it right there. A little Cootie Cat pocket. That's what it is, the Cootie Cat pocket. And it all fits and it zipped right up. Let's open up a little hand sanitizer. Let's open up these alcohol pads. They come in a pack of two or in a strip of two. Five strips of alcohol pads. So this is what the soap looks like, the little soap sheets. I'm gonna take this next pocket, hand sanitizer, soap right on the side, sliding these alcohol wipes right in there. I love how this all fits. Band-aids, the gauze, and its own alcohol wipes that came with it. My little mini first aid kit. Just like so, I'm just gonna go ahead and like fold it up though, fitting it right in there. Ooh, and everything fits. Okay, this may get a little bulky. It may get a little bulky. Maybe I'll put it in my car. All right, we're gonna put my taser in this pocket right here. Also, I'm about to take the pepper spray out of its package. Pretty small. It locks so you don't accidentally spray yourself. Oh my gosh. I'm putting that right in there. And then as well as my blade, honey, my shank, okay? Was that it? Oh wait, my personal alarm, personal alarm. I just looked up how to use this. Oh shit. Don't hold this, y'all, because this is what makes a sound. So you pull this pin out, it makes a sound. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I thought it was this button, but I guess this button is like a decoy. So you just pull that out and boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? So we putting that in there too. Forgot one thing. This escape tool. Will this fit in here? I think it will. Let's put the escape tool in there as well. Safety mechanism pocket complete. And of course y'all know the lotion, the lip gloss, you can just keep that readily available in your purse to grab and go. I'm not gonna lock that up in here because I always go for lip gloss and lotion. Last thing is just the mints. The mints, right? So we're gonna take a couple of these wisps and put it into a Ziploc bag. Boom, they're in here. Honestly, I go through mints so fast. I'm putting all three of these in here. So let's put the Neutrogena wipes in this pocket. Drop the mints in there. And lastly, the wisps. Oh, and almost forgot the poopery. I'm gonna put this right in this pocket. All right, you guys, I believe our purse emergency kit is complete. We got our safety mechanism, cootie cat, boo spray, hand sanitizer, alcohol wipes, soap. We have makeup wipes, a little bit of our Colgate Wisp, our mints. This is kind of bulky, I'm not even gonna lie. It's kind of bulky, just a little bit. They pretty much snap off. My lotion of choice right now is the Body Shop. You already know, you already know what it is. I love the Body Shop Body Butter, so I get it in the mini sizes. So I'm using the olive oil one right now. And then my lip gloss that I like to keep in my bag, this one by BH, use code Aaliyah to save some coin. And then I keep about two pens, a pen to write with and a marker. Sometimes you just need a Sharpie for things. And then lastly, just a little bit of eye drops because my eyes get dry when I wear false lashes so I just like to keep some eye drops on me. That's about it of all the other stuff that I keep in my purse besides my wallet. I've had this wallet for five years as well. She is stuffed. Well, my purse is, you know, pretty spacious so yeah, I might keep that in my car. I'm gonna put this right over top. Boom, that's gonna fit right there. That's gonna fit right there. And then my wallet. Yeah, everything fits. It does kind of make my purse, it just make my purse a little heavy just a little bit, just a little bit. That about completes the purse emergency kit that I decided to create for myself, for my safety and my essentials. If I am missing anything, please let me know what I should add. I hope you guys enjoyed making this purse emergency kit with me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you are new here and this is the first time being on my channel and seeing my face I would love to see you in the next one subscribe to my channel and join 
me and the honey sunny let me know what other videos you would love to see on my channel down below and until next time always remember to serve honey and i will see y'all next sunday bye